born in a day where uh, my father had a match. My daughter was born when I had a match and my son was born when I had a match. That's been my, my life. There are many ways to be or not to be. Uh, in my case, to be, in other cases, of not to be. You have many examples of people with um, apparently uh, all the conditions to be, and then in the end they are not. Without one area of deformation, you are not complete. And I used to divide it in, in, three, in three parts. One is the, um, the academic formation. Uh, one is your um, experience and um, your understanding of the game that comes uh, from the experience you had uh, in the game. So I think people that they were big football players, they have this part that I think is also very, very important. And, um, and the third part is your talent. That doesn't come from the formation, it's your talent. It's like uh, the School of Arts, for example. You know, a person can go to the best School of Arts, but then if you, don't, if you, don't, if you are not meant to be, you are not, going, you are not going to be. And that's, for me, the most impart important part of it the, is, is in your blood, is genetic, is in your DNA. Do you have the talent or you don't have the talent? My father was a player until I was probably nine, ten, and then became a manager. So when he was a manager and I was on my 12, 13, 14, I was going into his, to his world and uh, the kind of, uh, of discussion I was having with him, the kind of little jobs he was giving me in, um, in a generation where uh, the coaching staffs were not uh, like today and at that time was about the manager and probably one assistant and that's it. And when I was doing um, a position analyze, when I was analyzing his own team, when I was giving him my reports, uh, I think we both understood at the same time. He understood that uh, that I was that. Uh, and I understood also that I had uh, a much more potential to be uh, a football coach than to be a football player, which was what at that time every kid of my age in love with football wanted to be. I think, um, especially in Portugal, because it is a, a social environment that more or less I can control, I can say there is a pre-Jose and after-Jose. Um, after my success in abroad starts a new generation of, of young people that uh, they want to be football managers. But before that, on, on the 70s, on the 80s, everybody wants to be a player and that was a case of, a, a case of that. But I understood that my talent it was on, on the other side of the game. My coaching course was uh, three years of sports science, but after that, two years of football methodology. Because sometimes the sports science take, take us into a direction where uh, uh, it's sometimes difficult to understand if it is uh, a sports or if it is science. And um, football will be always, always a sport, um, at least for my for my perspective, it was really important for me and was kind of a new way to prepare yourself to be a, a football manager. The incredible thing was that because I was working in, um, in a club before Porto Liri, of course, I was working with, with a club with not the financial potential to sink big, to buy big and to scout in the top, 
let's say, places, I was really aware of, of lots of, of young talent in, in smaller teams. We were not afraid to change completely uh, the direction of, uh, of uh, Porto by getting the best young players in the, sm in the smaller clubs in, uh, uh, in Portugal. We didn't get one, one single player by, by millions or, or coming from top clubs. Everybody was, um, was young, was, was angry, had big motivation, had big desire. And uh, when I start working with them in, in the next preseason, I, I answered immediately to a few question marks that I had, which was their psychological dimension to adapt to a different reality and to cope with that, with that pressure, to cope with that responsibility, to come from a smaller team to one of the big clubs in, in Portugal. Sometimes you have to be also lucky because you can scout and scout and scout. And I know that in this moment, there are many complex structures of scouting and then sometimes complex doesn't mean efficient, but if you use that complexity to try to be efficient, uh, I think, yes, you have to analyze uh, that side of the players the best you, you come for not to have the kind of, of surprises that sometimes people has. Uh, even after investing a lot and then you have surprises when you are facing you are facing a, a profile of player that you are not expecting to I remember that my my question mark at that time was how that group of players was were going to to face um, the atmosphere of um, of an European final, and I was trying to analyze it since the moment we um, we land in in Sevilla with everything around the final that was there. I, I played the final an European final before that when I was in in Barcelona, and only my Portugal keeper that was also with me in Barcelona at that time had that experience of playing a. An, an European final and everything around when you land, uh, the hotel, the people, the number of fans, the crazy atmosphere in the city, the opposite fans. Let's see how these guys are going to react. I felt them reacting in the best possible way. And I felt that win or not win, you cannot uh, control, but you can control the way you are going to, to play, you are going to pace the final. I understood immediately that uh, the boys were ready. We were winning 1-0 and they equalized and then we were winning 2-1 and then they, they equalized again and then you go to, to extra time and um, it's hard. Even for, for us from the outside, it's, it's really hard because um, a final is in the majority of the career, especially when you are in Portugal, you think that uh, probably is um, is now or never. You think that is a unique, a unique um, occasion. We were far to imagine that 12 months later we were all playing a Champions League final. So we we look to that match as that's the match of our life. That's the match of our career. We can we can take a an European Cup to our country and to our careers and even our careers, if you want to think about yourself, can explode with, with that achievement. Um, and we were there, we were there for, for that. I, I, I also feel that Celtic was, and I felt that during the game, they also were there to, 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 to win it. Uh, that's why it was an absolutely fantastic final. So many years after, I, I tell the same. Uh, sometimes the best investment that you can do is to keep your best players. So when uh, even now people speak about that club spent X millions buying and that, that team didn't buy anyone, I always say, who did they sell? 
ah, they didn't sell anybody. Ah, so they kept all the top players they have. So that's the best investment. And in Porto that season, everybody stayed. So uh, Deco, Ricardo Carvalho, uh, Paulo Ferreira, Valente, Manish, everybody stayed from one season to the next. And then was just a question to resync the team, especially for that jump from Europa League to, um, to Champions League. Because in the Champions League, of course, we know we are going to play against the best the best teams. Uh, Europa League at that time, UEFA Cup was uh, was a different um, a different competition, and uh, we just had to give that step. But that step was also based on on the experience and the know-how of uh, of the team. So that team was playing in Sevilla the final. Uh, a few months later, we were playing in the in the Champions League group phase, and that was just. Uh, such a smooth transition. The main changes was that in the um, in the the UEFA Cup we consider ourselves one of the best teams, and in the Champions League we were not one of the best teams. So when in the Champions League uh, uh, group phase we get immediately uh, Real Madrid in our in our group, and then in the first knockout Manchester United. In UEFA Cup, uh, our group phase was uh, a team from from Poland, a Turkish team, the Nizli Spor, and then we get okay Lazio and uh, and Celtic. But the Champions League is the Champions League, so we know that we are not the best uh, the best team, and we need to reformulate a little bit our way of seeing the the game because. Uh, you know, many people think that uh, talent is the only way to to win football matches, but there is also the strategic side of uh, of the game, and sometimes you need that. Maybe one day I I tell everything about my career. Maybe maybe I never tell, but um, the night before that game, so without knowing what was going to 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 happen. I was in the hotel in in Manchester before the game, and I had uh, one agent uh, to take me to another hotel to meet the CEO of a of a big English club, not the club that I moved for, uh, was not was not Chelsea. So I I I had I had the doors uh, open even before that. Then obviously you 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 do that you win the Champions League makes it obviously uh, different uh, different times because at that time I remember that 2004 five uh, only two managers from abroad come to to England and was the Champions League winner and the UEFA Cup winner it was me and Benitez different periods now now. It's so much easier to come. At that time, was was really difficult.